Good afternoon. We are Team 16, because of myself, Victor Rodriguez, Vanessa Hawking, and Jesse Rivera. We'll be uh, uh, presenting the Gearbox Design. Thank you. Yeah, I caught that part. Alright. Well, what is a Gearbox? A Gearbox is a selection of gears uh, made with the purpose of reducing the velocity from the input to output chance while in, uh, increasing torque. Our problem statement is that we needed uh, to design a gearbox of 9.5 horsepower to reduce velocities from 1620 RPM to 90 RPM, while the input output shaft has to rotate in opposite direction and has to be perpendicular to each other. Our first design is this one with three steps, three to one, two to one, and three to one using bevel and spur gears. The only thing with this uh, design, it was too costly, it has too many gears. Second design, it has only two steps, uh, three to one and six to one using bevels and spurs. The only thing with this one is that uh, we have to introduce an other gear, other gear to change the output of the, uh, to change the, the rotation of the output shaft, but this is the design that we choose. Uh, this, the gears we selected for the manufactured calibers uh, found the criteria of 9.5 horsepower with the RPM for each of the, of each of the gears. This is for the spiral we uh, use Arrow Gear Company, and for the spur we use Martin Company. Uh, we then went to check our selections. First, for the spiral, we used the procedure from the manufacturer with their 1.08 uh, factor set. And for the spur gears, we use ACA for bending and coupling stress. Uh, after that, we, we follow up with the force analysis. With the, with, with the final result that to get the uh, forces on the shaft for, in order to design the shaft. So moving on to shaft design and analysis, the first thing that had to be done was that we had to decide on a type of material. So the material we chose was stainless steel. This has a modulative rigidity of 77.2 gigapascals. So for shaft one, two, three, and four, we followed the same process. We had to pick our dimensions uh, accordingly by making a couple of assumptions. We assumed the diameter, and from there we could calculate the length using the torque and the rotational speed. After this was done, we went ahead and checked to see if it would fail. We did this by seeing how low the angle of twist was using the formula above. When the angle of twist was low enough and we decided that it, deformed, uh, it didn't deform greatly, we could move on to our bearing analysis. So for bearing analysis, we used all the formulas and tables you see above. We assumed a bearing length of 60,000 hours, which is for 24 hour service. And we also calculated the load rating so that we could pick um, the respective bearings from the catalog. So from this, we chose um, two tapered roller bearings, two cylindrical roller bearings, as well as two deep root ball bearings for the uh, spur gears on the upper shaft. So um, from this, we can move on to our casing design. We Our problem statement states that we must uh, endure a high humidity environments of about 90 to 95%. So in order to avoid rust and corrosion, we fully encased our system to avoid these things and also um, to make it uh, last longer than the 60,000 bearing life hours that it has. As you can see here, this is the cat model that we came up with. Um, the case is completely enclosed as the, uh, since, because as my teammate explained, due to the humidity, so we had to uh, find a way to attach the shaft to the case without, of course, exposing any of it. Um, pretty much here you can see like all the bearings that we showed based on several manufacturers, and um, with this design, it was, we were able to obtain the 1 to 80 velocity ratio. Uh, we also saw several, as I said, uh, manufacturers in order to find the least um, possible amount of cost for our design, um, or final cost came out to be $2,744. And here, to conclude, um, we wanted to show you one more time the entire model of our gears. And as you can see, the um, idle gear in the middle is used to uh, reverse the rotation because one of the specific specification was that the input and the output had to um, rotate in opposite directions. Also, to um, uh, make, uh, make sure that the bearings and the shaft were, of course, chosen accordingly. Thank you.